Salutation my comment and welcome to my top 5 videos of 2014 and these are my videos that I think signifies a milestone of 2014. I know you're probably thinking, hey Abdin, it's 2015 now. I saw a lot of people making these videos and I thought I really should have made it before 2014 ended but I was like, yeah, I'll make it anyway. The first video of mine I'm quite happy with. I met Malam TV, my one is one, and I was so happy because I was in Edinburgh and that was like one of the best moments in my life to be in Edinburgh and, and meeting my one. Then actually, just to, just 2014 because it was just so good. In Edinburgh, it was one of those moments where you're in that place where you don't you feel like you're in a sort of dream state. I was quite chuffed that I met Moan and then met Rose Haynes it, and it was it was a <laughs> glorious moment. There's still a lot of footage of Edinburgh that needs to be uploaded, so hopefully I'll upload it this year. I think you should <laughs> watch the video I met Malam TV because you could see how enthralled with joy I am about meeting my one is wonderful you know the second video of 2014 that I really like and uh, I think a lot of these videos that I'm gonna just say are just videos that something's happened to me and I'm, I'm saying it to you guys but the second video of 2014 for me is my lambda results video and I'm I, I was really um, so basically I did the lambda exam and everything and then I got my results and I was just really happy and everything but in my family no one really cares so I was just like you know what turn the camera on just told you guys and I was just really happy I was just so excited the lambda certificate is a piece of paper and like a medal a gold medal and stuff but it means more than that to me because when I went there the exam was taking place and I was just walking in the corridor I saw a lot of people there a lot of actors sorry and like sometimes you look at people and you're like oh I know what they do they're a doctor or I know what they do they're a plumber or something so I love the people in in this space, I could tell if the actors. I was walking in the corridor, and just a lot of people just looking at me like, "What? What is this? What's Asian waiter doing here?" Because you know, apparently I look like one. Um, so I got a gold distinction, and I was really overwhelmed with it, and I was just really surprised. And to me, it feels like, "Oh yeah, you're an actor now." And I actually like the video itself because I think I edited it quite well, except for the ending, which sort of abruptly ends. If I put that video, so check that one out. The next video is uh, the video where I tell you guys that I'm going to university. It's like a massive moment, obviously, for me, mainly because I didn't think I was going to get into uni, and I did. And I came home with the results, and I just, and I didn't tell anyone I told I think I told my wait I told my brother but he was like half asleep so he didn't really care like okay I've got no one else to share this with because all my friends who I studied with in my year like most of my friends sorry in sixth form they were gonna do another year so I didn't feel like saying oh I got in and everything to them I came home and I just on the on this camera and then I just started to talk to you guys and in the video it's quite funny now with I look back at it when the video I getting quite emotional so there's a bit where I think my voice is breaking, which is quite funny because it looks like I'm crying. So I'm just like sort of pouring my heart to you guys. And I feel like I, I think I was going to cry or something, but um, I didn't. I didn't because I'm a man. But men are allowed to cry, you know? I look back at it and I, I'm just thinking to myself, oh, I didn't. Just get a hold of yourself, man. Got an emotional video and uh, I just tell you guys my story of getting to university. The next video that I want you guys to see is, is my little short film slash sketch, mainly sketch, kind of, that I made for a uni class and it's called Messed Up, which is like a mafia show. And I was quite surprised at how good it turned out to be when I finished it because we had like so much complications when we were filming this. Originally, we planned to film this on the 4th of November, just before Bonfire Night, but we didn't. But then the 5th of November, we planned this and we're like, okay, we're we'll definitely filming on that day. And then we, we got the location sorted out and everything. And we're like, okay, we've booked this room in our university. We're going to film there. And this room was brilliant because he had all this furniture and sofas and chairs and he had grills on the windows he has bars on the windows and we're thinking oh this looks so cool it like a, like a really good set um, location and everything so in the morning we went there and we filmed we were gonna just get one shot in and then we get here knock on the door and some people just come in and just went we, we've booked this room like check it out and everything but we were like we've booked it as well because they were older than us they're second years i think second years or third years i don't know they were like oh we've booked this room so we were like oh oh Okay, so we had to give them the room because they're the elders and stuff and we're like, oh crap, where are we supposed to film this? So we filmed this in Joel's room because it's in Joel's room. We can so off take our time, but just because it's in Joel's room, can't always take our time. And then because it was on a Wednesday, I was like, oh crap, I've got work. I went to work, came back, came back at like around six, half six and then started filming straight up from that to like, I think we finished just before 12 and it was just like, it was such an arduous task. The last video, and I know you guys already know this and technically we shot this in 2013, but I released it and everything 2014 is the Aura's Oracle and I am really happy and chuffed with that video. The reason why I want you guys to watch that and even though it's got quite a good amount of views on that video and likes, I just really enjoyed making that. I worked so hard in that video because it was just me, Joe and I and I was like planning and everything and Joe was my actor. 
Bloody hell, we were filming this in like December, we both got ill. Like if you guys watch the playlist of the Rose Oracle, you guys will see how much like if you watch there's a video where I just released the audio of me and I'm like I'm there sniffling and like I don't think we're gonna do this and I'm just like I don't think my acting's really good or anything like that and Joe's just sort of like saying, Oh but it's fine and everything. And it was such a hard video for me and I planned it back in October last year in Halloween, got all the fake blood and everything. It meant so much to me that it turned out quite well. I mean, even though I look back at it now and I'm just thinking some of the effects and some of the acting can get like touched up, it would have been like much more better but I think it just about holds up today in the present day so I'm quite really pleased with that and it's also the fact that so when I first came in uni like back in September my tutor Michelle she just said to me oh it is brilliant and the fact that you can make that is you can rival a third year in university with your actual practical skills of that and I was quite surprised and really I didn't know how to react so I was just like um well Really? And she was like, yeah, yeah, it's really good. The only things that I shot with that video was with this camera, the one that I'm, I'm recording with now, and my phone for the audio. And I just cleaned it up and in post. And I was really quite happy with it. And she said, and you're in the like, level five kind of sort of area. She was like quite happy and chuffed. And I was like, yeah, all right, okay. But then I was kind of sad because I was like, well, and what's the point of uni and stuff? I've got a sort of point there. But she was saying how I need to brush up on my theory, which is obviously uh, like the directors and stuff like that, and all these social political movements of films and everything. So that, that's why I'm really proud with Dora's Oracle because even till this day it's quite close and dear to me because it's a piece of film that I made which sort of marked my position as a young filmmaker for me as an individual back in Burnley because in Burnley I used to get mocked quite a lot for doing what I do which is making YouTube videos and making films for you guys and everything but I made Dora's Oracle for my YouTube coursework and I made it and my teacher Mr McGiffin he was he was really um, proud of me for that video and apparently I didn't know this but he talks to his students this year about me I didn't know that I got told by that by one of my friends and I was like really he goes yeah he just boasts about your work and I was like oh all right then so yeah it's, it was like a massive milestone which, which made a stand saying oh my name is Abdin Khan I am my young actor and filmmaker I'm here and I'm clear and I'm gonna no wait that, that is like the gay chant isn't it yeah <laughs> yeah, so it, it proved me to a lot of people that were kind of on my case. I made that and I, I think I, I got a lot of people approval and respect from that little short film and I was really happy with that. So those are my top five videos of 2014. Please be sure to check them out. If you don't want to, then it's fine. I mean, I guess. But it'd be quite lovely if you did. I think that's it for now. So I'd say click on the subscribe button over there. Check out the videos. Comment, like and subscribe. Geeks are cool. So love, peace and feel chunder. First I was afraid